Nothing like a nice, refreshing fruit drink after a tough mission. We haven't been on a mission yet. Picky, picky, picky. Look what I found in the storage bay. What is it, Jason? A time machine. Why, that was mine when I was little. I sent away for it. Saved hundreds of cereal box tops. That must have taken forever. Not really. Kevin, help. <laughs> it's all in pieces. Oh, yes. I took it apart. I needed to make something way cool for my bicycle. What's cooler than a time machine? Attaching a car to the spokes. You know, they make that flap, flap, flap sound when you ride. Oh, yeah. That's way better than some old time machine. Can I put it back together? Certainly. Will you need any advice? It's been a while, but I remember... No, thanks. I got it covered. I need a wrench, not advice. How goes it, Jason? Just need to tighten up this and done. She's ready for a test drive. You never look at the directions. Batteries not included. No! So, I need all of the AA batteries you got. This is an emergency. What's a rush, Jason? Stick around. Have a chat with the Federation vet here. You might pick up a thing or two. Sorry, no time. I need those batteries. You're missing a great opportunity. Soldiers like him started the Federation, Jason. Can't right now. Maybe another time. Now, can I please have my batteries? <sighs> Attention, Federation soldiers. I have a heavy-duty mission for you. Seems the occupants of planet Obstantinople are having a dispute about what wattage bulbs to use. I thought you said this was heavy-duty. Seems rather light to me. <laughs> Get it? Light? You know, as in light bulbs? <laughs> Get it? Huh. Yeah. As I was saying, seems the young folks are disagreeing with the older, more experienced leaders. I want you flyboys to get over there and straighten this out. Can't have people using the wrong bulbs. Aye, aye, Commander. We're on it. Kevin, leave the soldier. To the wise there, Jason. The time machines way. can be tricky. Oh, I quite agree. The space-time continuum is nothing to be trifled with. After what I did with my time machine, let's just say it still hurts to sit down. Because of me, my entire sixth grade class had to repeat grade school all over again. Do you understand what we're saying, Jason? Huh? Yeah. Time very delicate. Got it. Second? Hold on, I can only throw things one second into the future? What a ripoff! Guy needs a muffler and a tune up. Prepare for takeoff! Bonsai! I could give him some advice if only he'd listen. When I was young, I took the limiter off that time machine to soup it up a bit. When I was young, I wanted to either be a space captain or a ballerina. What about you, Mitchell? That ought to do it. Attention, Rock Hopper. This is from your show. Drop down with time. You must listen to us and Jason, or you will certain doom. And sigil waits. Have a nice day. What was that? Oh, I'm afraid I can't find the source of the message. Then play it again. I can't. It's gone. Anyone remember anything it said? Have a nice day. Sounded like some serious advice. Exactly. A warning. A dire warning. 
But of what? And from whom? Or is it who? Mitchell, not bad at all. I'll check to see if the atmosphere's safe. Ah, fresh air. Not to worry, everybody. It's perfectly safe. No, that was not my fault. It was the lousy time machine. And it didn't even work. Or maybe you didn't listen to any advice. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like they didn't get the transmission. And I dare say Jason ignored our warnings about the time machine. Hello! We come in peace from a planet far, far away. Our spaceship has been damaged. Do you have a communication device? We're old, not deaf. Oh, sorry. Then... Hello, we come in peace from a planet far, far away. We understood you the first time. It's going to take some time to rebuild that ship. No, no, we're experts. We just need to contact the Federation, tell them we're going to be a little late. I dare say so. About seven decades late. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that was useless. Those two old guys are off their rockers. Well, technically speaking, they're on their rockers, but they're still off. Is anybody listening to me? Well, I suppose there's nothing to do but roll up our sleeves and get to work. Okay, rolling sleeves. Uh, this may take a while. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's everything. Uh, I certainly hope so. Looks like you fly boys have a little work ahead of you. Uh, we've been around the galaxy a time or two. We might be of some assistance. Right. Assist us in making it worse. <laughs> <clears throat> uh, thank you, gentlemen. But we're doing just fine on our own. <laughs> suggest listening to your elders, Vigil. We do have experience, after all. I'm sorry, but how, how do you know my name? We know all your names. Your Vigil, Midgel, Zigil, Jason, Michelle, and Kevin. Excuse me, but, uh, do we know you? Of course you do, Captain. We are you. How can you be me? I'm me. Uh, what Midgel means, Captain, is that we are the future versions of you. Hasn't changed a bit. I'm a lot shorter than I remember. And you're skinnier. Would someone please explain to me what's happening here? Captain, Jason's time machine has evidently thrown us into the future. These are our future selves. <laughs> no, really, what's going on? Say, who is this handsome specimen? Handsome spaceman? Me? Go on. Seriously, Seriously who, who is, is this? this? He's you from the past. That's, That's impossible. impossible. Whoa! Go! Oh. <laughs> Mm. 
Oh, right! This is fantastic! Exactly. How is this fantastic, Jason? Your time machine worked! We're in the future! This is the coolest thing ever! Uh, not to dampen your enthusiasm, young man, but our situation is, in fact, quite dire. What do you mean? Our ship's destroyed. Who knows how much the time machine's been damaged? Jason, face the facts. The odds are you and your sister are stuck here with us forever. No! Uh, Captain? I'm fat and bald and my teeth are gone. Mitchell, I got old. We all get old, Captain. Not me. I've got to get back, Mitchell. Back to our own time. I can't stay here any longer. Say, I don't know if you boys have noticed, but your ship's got some holes in it. That's going to make it difficult to fly. I don't want to get too technical here, but uh, there's no air in space. You fly in this, and you'll have to hold your breath for a really long time. Got it. Thanks. I wouldn't do that. I'm sorry? Uh, that part goes in last. If you put it in now, you'll just have to take the whole ship apart again later. Thank you for your assistance. I'll take it from here. The old bird can't see more than two feet in front of him. What could he possibly know? <laughs> help! Someone help! What is it, Michelle? Kevin's getting younger! <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's not funny. <gasps> oh, no! What's happening to him? Oh, I'm afraid the time machine has affected Kevin directly. If he keeps reverting at this rate, soon he'll be nothing more than an egg. Listen to me. You're wasting your time with that. Oh, but it must fit. This part should be connected to the fuel manifold, which is inside. So you'll have to take the ship apart again. He's joking, right? Oh, I should have listened to him in the first place. Our old selves seem to know more than our young selves. <laughs> Funny thing how that works. <laughs> we don't have time for this. Kevin's gonna be an egg before you know it. I'm well aware of that. Jason, how's the time machine coming? It wasn't damaged too badly. I just don't know if we can go back the exact number of years we came forward. Well, here's my suggestion. Follow the instructions you got there, mate. I'm trying. I got the communications back up at least. Captain! Is he gone? I mean... Am I gone? The future me, I mean? He won't leave me alone. And he's kind of strange, if you ask me. If you want to contact anyone, the communication screen is back up. Thank you. Now, where did I put those batteries? Kevin, I need those. Oh, uh, mine! Get them here! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hello, Planet Obstantinople. This is Captain Zigil from the Federation. We were coming to visit you, but we're a tad late. I figure by about, uh, 75 years. And what is the nature of your call? We were told you had some problems deciding what wattage bulbs to use. Oh, yes, I remember that time. We don't use bulbs anymore, old-fashioned antique things. But seven decades ago, we had issues galore. Everyone argued about it. Right. That's why we're here, to settle the issue. Uh, no need now. We realized older folks gave good advice. We did what they said, worked out great. Oh, all right then. Don't need us. Fine. We traveled a few light years to get here, but hey, no biggie. Over and out. Nope. Don't need us. Just your older folks and their voice of experience. Grandmom was right, Michelle. We should listen to advice from more experienced people. I remember. Listen to advice and accept instruction. And in the end, you'll be wise. I was trying to do everything myself and didn't listen to the advice of people who knew more than me. 
but I will next time. There's a bigger problem, Jason. You didn't change that ball when Grandmom's busy in the kitchen. Oh, no! We have to get back before the lampshade catches on fire! Don't worry about it, cadet. That was 75 years ago. Light bulbs burned out by now. Even one of those fancy, swirly, long-lasting ones. Guys, we have to get off this planet now! Something about leaving the lights on. Their electric bill's gonna be through the roof. We're trying everything we can, Jason. We haven't tried listening to the voices of experience. If you back off the tension in the thrusters, you'll get a smoother ride. <laughs> hey, you're right. Thanks, future me. And I believe you'll find that your shields will operate much better when calibrated to this. I do believe I know what I'm talking about. Uh, what you're talking about, I mean. You've, uh, got an egg here. He's, uh, a member of our crew. In my day, you had to graduate from the academy before they considered you flight-worthy. <sighs> Are we almost done? Everything but the power crystals. Are they important? If they're not working properly, we can't take off. So, again, is that important? Maybe you're setting them to calibrations that are 75 years old. We're in the future now. Thanks, Jason. But I think the grown-ups have got this. Hold on, the kid may be right. I say give it a shot. Good job, young man. There's a future in science for you yet. Not to press a point, but the whole crystal thing. Life and death important? Thanks for everything. We couldn't have done it without you. We know. Bye! <laughs> Got to say, I miss those days. I concur, my friend. How about you, Zidral? You miss those days? No. Mainly I miss my hair. <sighs> well, here goes nothing. Like you said, here goes nothing. Kevin! Yeah! You did it, Jason! You brought us back! But is it the right time? We still might be off by a few years. Attention, Rock Hopper. This is a message from your future. Stop messing around with time. You must listen to us and stop Jason, or you will face certain doom. And Captain Sigil, lay off the sweets. Have a nice day. I believe you got us back right on the dot, Jason. Good job. Now please get us home before that lamp overheats. Next up, Grandma's Corner of the Universe. I hope we're not too late. I don't smell any smoke. Hey, it's a dim bulb. Of course it is, dear. I changed it, but you should have. I'm really sorry, Grandmom. I should listen to people who have more experience, especially when they give advice or instruction. I learned that lesson today. <laughs> Good boy. And for that, you deserve a reward. My liver souffle. <laughs> Three, two, one!